Hello everyone. My name is Murali Krishna, a mathematics teacher. In this series of videos, I am going to present all the topics of 11th class mathematics for CBSE students. My the first topic is set theory. It's also your the first chapter in your textbook. First, let me explain what is meant by set. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across different kinds of objects like piece of chalk, a pen, a book, or an apple. Or different objects we know us. If we bring some of the objects together, I'm going to keep some objects on the table. So if when you bring some objects together, that is called collection. So collection of objects. Instead of different objects, if we bring similar objects together, then that is called collection of similar objects. Now, the collection of similar objects is called a set. Again, I repeat, a collection of similar objects is a set. Wait. Even though the objects are similar in a collection, that collection need not be a set. Then what is meant by a set exactly? Now set definition, set is defined as well defined Collection of objects is called a set. Well, here we know what is meant by collection and we know what is meant by object. But the new one is given as a well defined. What is meant by well defined? Well defined means universally acceptable. Well defined means universally acceptable. So, what is the meaning of universally acceptable? For example, I'll come to your class. I will ask you, stand up all tall students, stand up all tall students. Here, I am not defining the tallness. Because of this reason, every student feels that he is a tall, so he will stand. Even though I am very short, I will also stand. Why? Because it is not well defined. Instead of that, students whose height is more than 150 centimeters, please stand up. Then I am giving the instructions very clearly. I need those students whose height is more than 150 centimeters. Then this collection is well defined. Here, if you show Mr. X, Mr. Y, Mr. Z or the objects of my required set, everyone of your class accept. Yes, X can stay in that collection because his height is more than. Y can stay in that collection because his height is more than 150. 
Similarly, jet can stay in that collection because its height is more than one fifty. So everyone will accept that collection. So that is a set. One more example I will tell. If I asked you, please tell the beautiful monuments of the world. The limit name you say may be from India or abroad, from different countries. You say, for example, Statue of Liberty of America, or you can say Kutub Minar from Delhi, or you can say Taj Mahal from India. Different options. So here, all the objects of a similar kind belongs to the category of the beauty. But here, the beauty, the definition changes from person to person. It is not universally acceptable. Not only that, if I ask a blind person, please describe the beauty of the Kutubina. He cannot define it. So the beauty is not universally acceptable. It's abstract. Instead of that, if I say all the monuments which are constructed before 1900 AD, before 1900 AD, then yes, all the collection, all the objects of the collection are universally acceptable. That means that, that is such. So what is a set here? Basically, well-defined collection. That means universally acceptable collection of objects. That is called a set. Please note down this definition. Set means well-defined collection of objects. So here, the collection is objects. The collection is well-defined as well as in that objects are also well-defined. So very simple. Well-defined means universally acceptable. Simple. Everyone will accept that. That is called that. Now, in most of the textbooks, the sets are denoted by, in most of the textbooks, the sets are denoted by or denoted by a capital letters A, B, C, and so on. The objects of The objects of the set are called elements. Elements of the set. Of the set. And these elements are denoted by by Small letters A, B, C, R, X, Y, the text. And here I am going to introduce one more important symbol. For example, X is an element of the set. See, X is an element of object A. We say that we write it as X and read as. Tens, X belongs to you. The same time, the same time, if X is is not an 
an element of a a means set a element of set a we write as x and read as belongs to e. So, first we define what is meant by set and how to denote the sets, how to denote the elements of the set and the new symbol belongs to, I write here, belongs to, the symbol means belongs to 